In Selma, Alabama, in 1963, 1964, and 1965, there were more than 15,000 African Americans, and only about 159 were registered to vote. You had to pass a so-called literacy test, had to pay a poll tax. People were beaten, arrested, and jailed. But after a young man by the name of Jimmy Lee Jackson was shot and later died at the local hospital in Selma, we made a decision to march from Selma to Montgomery. We accepted the way of peace, the way of love, the way of nonviolence, whether in America or in Europe or in Africa, the Middle East, or Asia, or Central or South America, we all live in the same house, the world house, and we must live together. It is a must to work toward change. If you see something that is not right, not fair, not just, you have a moral obligation to do something about it. Young people should be prepared to get out there and push and pull. You don't have to wait for an institution. We didn't wait during the 60s, but do it on a peaceful, orderly, nonviolent fashion. The quest for justice, for tolerance, is still the same today as it was 50 or 60 years ago. And so we're still on the move, moving toward creating a better society.